Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Fortinet Accelerate 18. Brought to you by Fortinet. Welcome back to theCUBE's continuing coverage of Fortinet Accelerate 2018. I'm Lisa Martin, joined by my co-host Peter Gert. Peter Burris, and we have a very cozy set right now. I'd like to introduce you to our next guest, Daniel Bernard, the Vice President of Business Development for Sentinel One, and Basil Habib, you are the IT Director at Tri-City Foods. Gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE. Great to be here, thanks. We're excited to have you guys here. So first, Daniel, let's, first question to you. Tell us about Sentinel One, what's your role there, and how does Sentinel One partner with Fortinet? Sure, I run uh, technology integrations and alliances. Sentinel One's a next generation endpoint protection platform company. Um, where we converge EPP and EDR into one agent that operates autonomously. So whether it's connected to the internet or not, we don't rely on a cloud-delivered solution that works just as well online and offline, and we're there to disrupt the legacy AV players that have been in this market for 25 years with technology driven by artificial intelligence to map every part of the threat lifecycle to specific AI capabilities so that we can stop attacks before they even occur and your partnership with Fortinet. This is your first Accelerate, so talk to us about the duration of that partnership and what is differentiating yeah. for you. It's great to be here at Accelerate and also to work with Fortinet. We've been working with them for about a year and a half and we're proud members of the Fortinet security fabric. What it means to us is that for enterprises like Tri-City Foods that we'll talk about, a defense in depth approach is really the way to go. Fortinet, leading edge, uh, network security solutions. We have a very meaningful and exciting opportunity to work with Fortinet given the breadth of our APIs. We have over 250 APIs, the most of any endpoint solution out there on the market. So the things we can enable within Fortinet's broad stack is really very powerful. Fortinet has a lot of customers, a lot of endpoints uh, in their environments to protect. So we're proud to partner with Fortinet to help go after those accounts together to not only go into those accounts ourselves but also strengthen the security that Fortinet's able to offer their customers as well. And can we, if we can pivot on that for just a second, how do you, how does Sentinel One help strengthen, for example, some of the announcements that came out from Fortinet this morning about the security fabric. How do you give an advantage to Fortinet? Sure, so where we come in is we sit at the endpoint level and we're able to bring a lot of different pieces of intelligence to core and critical Fortinet assets. For example, with the Fortinet connector that we are going to be releasing tomorrow, so a little sneak peek on that right here on theCUBE, uh, the endpoint intelligence is actually through API, two-way API connections, able to go immediately into Forta Sandbox and then be pushed to Forta Gate, and that's in real time. So whether an endpoint is inside of a network or running around somewhere in the world, whether it's online or offline, a detection and a conviction that we make through the Sentinel-1 client and the agent that actually sits on the endpoint, all of a sudden is able to enrich and make every single endpoint inside of a Fortinet network much smarter and prone and, and also immune from attacks before they even occur. So as you think about that, how does it translate into a company like Tri-Cities, which has a large number of franchises, typically without a lot of expertise in those franchises to do complex IT security, but still, very crucial data that has to be maintained and propagated. From, from Tri-Cities perspective, you know, we look into uh, securing the environment. And when you look into the security fabric between uh, Fortinet and um, you know, uh, Sentinel-1, that really helps us out a great deal. By looking into automating some of these processes, uh, mitigating some of these threats, that integration and the uh, zero day attack that we can be prevented, that really helps us out you know, day one. So tell us a little bit about Tri-City. Well, Tri-City Foods is basically the second largest franchisee for Burger King. We currently have approximately about 500 locations. Um, you know, we do, you know, everybody thinks about you know, Burger King as just the, you know, you go purchase Whopper, but nobody knows about all of the uh, technology that goes in in the back end in order to support that environment. You know, you're looking to, you got the, your point of sale, you know, you're taking your credit card transaction, you got your digital menu board, you got all of the items in the back end, you drive through, and you now we support all of those devices. We ensure that all of these are working properly and um, uh, operating efficiently. So, you know, if one of these devices is not functioning, uh, that store goes down. Uh, the other thing that we do is basically we need to ensure that, you know, the security is at most uh, important for us. Uh, with, you know, processing credit card transaction, we cannot afford to have any kind of breach into the environment. 
And this is where, again, this is where Sentinel One comes into the picture, where uh, all of our devices down there are protected, you know, with the with the solution, as well as uh, protecting the edge with uh, with Fortinet security. So I hear big environment complexity. So bef tell us about. Um, the evolution of security in your environment. You mentioned Sentinel One, but how has that evolved as, as, as you have to with, you said, so many different endpoints that are vulnerable and there's personal information. Tell us about this evolution that you've helped drive. Uh, well, the uh, issue that we ran into when I first started on that is, you know, we had the traditional antivirus. With a traditional antivirus, you know, it's just basically protecting what it knows about. It did not protect anything that is, you know, zero day. Um, we got in, you know, hit with a couple of ransomwares, um, which we are um, not willing to take any chances with the environment. Um, so with the, um, that evolution came through as, you know, we cannot afford to have this type of um, system be taken down or being compromised. Mm -hmm. And we do, um, like to ensure that you know the security of our clients. So this is again, this is where we decided to go into the next gen uh, endpoint protection, uh, ensuring the uh, uptime and the uh, security of the environment. But very importantly, you also don't have the opportunity to hire really, really expensive talent in the store to make sure that the store is digitally secure. So talk a little bit about what, we, what Daniel was talking about relative to AI, automation, and some of the other features that you're looking for as you ensure security in those, in those locations. The, the process to go down there is basically we cannot expect everybody to understand security. So in order That's to, a good bet. <laughs> <laughs> so in order to make why it, we're all here. <laughs> That's right. So in order to make it you know easy uh, for everybody to process the uh, the solutions, it's basically we had to simplify it as much as possible. We need to make sure that it's zero touch. We need to make sure that it works all the time, irrelevant to if you are on the network or off the network. Uh, we needed to make sure that you know it's reliable and it works uh, without any compromise. And very importantly, you can have a multi, it's multimodal, right? It can be online, offline, uh, you can have a variety of different operator characteristics, centralized, more regional. Is that all accurate? Multi-tenant, on-prem. <laughs> well, we, uh, definitely. Uh, the, uh, you know, with every solu with every uh, location, got the, you know your local users. You have your manager, the district manager. They are mobile. You know, these are mobile users that we have to protect. And in order to protect them, we need to make sure that they are protected offline as well as online. Uh, and again, the uh, the uh, the Central One client basically provided that security for us. It is always on. It's available offline, and uh, it's preventing a lot of malware from coming in. Talk to us about kind of the reduction in complexity and, and, and visibility, because I'm, I'm hearing that, that visibility is probably a, a key capability that you now have achieved across a pretty big environment. Correct, so before, you know, with the traditional antivirus, you got an on-prem solution. On-prem solution, in order to see that visibility, it's not, you know, you have to be locked in, you have to be able to access that solution, you have to be pushing application updates or, you know, as, uh, Signature updates is very static. Uh, with the uh, moving into the uh, you know the uh, central one, it's a success solution. I don't have to touch anything. Basically, everything works in the background. Uh, we update the back end, and just the clients get pushed, the updates get pushed, and it's protected. Uh, we, I only have one uh, uh, engineer basically looking after the solution. Uh, which is great in this environment because again, with everywhere you go, the you know, op, uh, um, OPEX is a big problem. Okay. So in order to reduce uh, the cost, you know, we need to make sure that we have that automation in place. We need to ensure that you know everything works with the minimal intervention. Uh, that uh, issues were mitigated dynamically without having any physical intervention to it. And this is where you know the solution came in handy. So I'm hearing some really strong, positive business outcomes. It's, we can kind of shift 
Daniel, back sure. to you. This is a great testimonial for sure. how a business is continuing to evolve mm -hmm. uh, and, and grow at the speed and scale that consumers are demanding. Tell us a little bit on the Sentinel One side about some of the announcements that Fortinet has made today. For example, <laughs> um, the security fabric, as well as what they announced with AI. How is that going to help uh, your partnership and help companies like Tri-City Foods and others achieve the visibility and the security that they need at that scale and speed that they demand? Yeah, I think uh, Fortinet has a very progressive approach when it comes to every part of their stack. Um, what we see with the Fortinet security fabric is a real desire to work with best of breed vendors and bring in the, their capabilities so that customers can still utilize all the different pieces of what Fortinet offers, whether it be FortiGate, Forta Sandbox, Forta Mail, all these different uh, fantastic products, but complement those products and enrich them with all these other great vendors here on the floor. I mean, what we heard from Basile is what we hear from our other 2,000 customers, the, these themes of, we need something that's simple. We are, you could easily, you know, with two people on the team, you could easily spend all your time just logging into every single console. Fortinet brings that to light so seamlessly in their stack, 20, 30 products that are able to be easily managed. But if you don't partner with a vendor like Fortinet or Sentinel One and you're, you're going into all these different products all day long, there's no time to actually do anything with that data. I think the problem in cybersecurity today is really one of data overload. What do you do with all this data? You need something that's going to be autonomous and work online and offline, but also bring in this level of automation to connect all these different pieces of a security ecosystem together to make what Fortinet has very nicely labeled a security fabric. And that's what I believe is what's going on inside Basile's environment. That's what we see in our 2,000 customers, and hopefully that's something that all of Fortinet's customers can benefit from. Oh. Basically, one of the many things that people think about is they associate digital transformation with larger businesses. Um, now, Tri-Cities, Tri-City Food is not a small business. 500 you know, uh, Burger King franchises is a pretty sizable business when you come right down to it. But how is Sentinel One, Fortinet, facilitating changes in the, in the in-store experience? digital changes in the in-store experience. Is there, are there things that you can now think about doing as a consequence of bringing this endpoint security into the store in an automated, facile, simple way that you couldn't think about before? Actually, yes, by you know, using the Fortinet platform, you know, we deployed uh, the 40 APs. We had the uh, 40 manager, we're looking into basically trying to uh, manage and push all of the guest services, you know, to provide guest services. Uh, before, we had to touch a lot of different devices. Right now, it's just two click of a button and I'm able to uh, provide that SSID to all of my stores. Uh, we're able to change the security settings with basically a couple clicks. We don't have to go and manage, you know, 500 locations. I'm only managing a single platform, you know, in Forty Manager, for instance, or Forty Cloud. So this is uh, really a, a very progressive for us. Uh, again, when you're working with the uh, small staff, the more automation and the more management you can do on the back end to simplify the environment as well as providing the required security is a big plus for us. There's some key features that we've brought to market to help teams like Basile's. A couple ones that come to, to mind our deep visibility capability where you can actually see into encrypted traffic directly from the endpoint without any changes in network topography, that's something that's pretty groundbreaking. Uh, we're the only endpoint technology to actually do that, um, where you can actually threat hunt for IOCs and look around and see, you know, 70% of traffic is encrypted today and that number is rising. You can actually see into all that traffic and look for specific data points. That's a really good example where you can turn what you used to have to go to a very high level SOC analyst and you can have anybody actually benefit from a tool like that. The other one that comes to mind is our rollback capability, where if something does get through or we're just operating in, in EDR mode uh, by customer choice, you can actually completely roll back a system to the previously non-infected, non-encrypted state directly from that central location. So whether that person's on an island or in Bermuda or you know, sitting in a store somewhere, um, if a system is compromised, you don't need to re-image it anymore. You can, click, you can just click roll back, and within 90 seconds, it's back to where it was before. So the time savings we can drive is really the key value proposition from a business outcome standpoint because you need all these different check boxes and more than check boxes, but frankly, they're just not the people and the hours in the day to do it all. 
So you said time savings, OPEX, uh, maybe resource allocation. I'm wondering, um, in terms of leveraging what you've established from a security standpoint as differentiation, as Tri-City is looking to grow and expand, tell us a, a little bit about um, how this is a differentiator for your business compared to your competition. I cannot speak to the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what I can speak to is again, you know, the differentiator for us, as um, Daniel mentioned, is basically again the automation pieces, you know, the rollback features, the uh, you know, minimizing the threat analysis into uh, the environment. You know, all of these features basically is going to make us more uh, available for our customers. You know, the environment is going to be uh, um, secure and you know, uh, customers will be more than welcome to come in to us and they know that they're coming in, the information is secure and they're not going to be compromised. But are you able to set up stores faster? Are you able to, as you said, roll out changes faster so that you Your, do get that common kind of view of things? As threat zero, zero breach. Threat zero, zero breach, yes. So basically in order to roll out faster, we do roll out the stores faster. Um, uh, we basically, with the zero touch deployment, that Fortinet is offering. Basically send the device to the store, bring it online, and uh, it's functional. We just push the template to it and it's operational. Uh, with the, again, with the uh, Sentinel One platform, push the client to the, uh, to the store and uh, set it and forget it. That is basically the best uh, solution that we ever deployed. Set it and forget it. I set like it that. and forget That's it. That's why you look so relaxed. <laughs> I can't sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want to hear. Uh, exactly, so Daniel, last question to you. This is your first Accelerate. It is Tell our first Accelerate. Tell us about what excites you about being here. What are some of the things that you've heard and, and what are you excited about going forward in 2018 with this partnership? Yeah, well as we launch our Fortinet connector tomorrow, um, what, what really excites me about being here is the huge partner and customer base that Fortinet has built over the last 20 years. Customers and partners that have not only bought the first time, but have been, they're, they're, they're in it to win it with Fortinet, and that's what we are too. So um, I'm excited about the year ahead and enabling people like Basile to be able to sleep on the weekends because they can stitch their security solutions together in a meaningful way with best of breed technologies, and you know, we're honored to be part of that Fortinet security fabric for that very reason. Well, gentlemen, thank you both so much for taking the time to chat with us today and share your story at Accelerate 2018. Thanks a lot. For this cozy panel up here, I'm Lisa Martin. My co-host the, with theCUBE is Peter Burris. You're watching us live at Fortinet Accelerate 2018. Stick around, we will be right back. <laughs>